Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hey, it's Ness Ness. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Oh, what's up, y'all? Today is Tuesday. Hey, hey. Listen, I'm coming to share some advice with you guys. I was just listening to this lady talk about peace. I'm going to say peace is an ultimate item that is priceless. That means when people are going through things, sometimes it's not even about you. It's not even be to make you part of their issue it's not even to be what's going on with you and them sometimes people are fighting their own demons that's why i tell people all the time and they be like oh you ain't had to say it like that no mind your motherfucking business when people going through shit when they start acting cute and funny leave them alone sometimes it's just not karma sometimes it's just not them going through shit sometimes it's just a life experience that they gotta get through Maybe I need to say that again. Sometimes it is their karma. Sometimes it is their life experience. And this is just shit that they got to go through. And sometimes when you get on the elevator with a person and you don't understand why relationships and friendships don't work out, guess what? It elevates. An elevator going to go up. It's going to come down. When you dealing with people, you might see somebody and you might say, Oh, they don't speak to me today. I was just talking to them yesterday. They mad at me. I used to cry when people got mad at me. I used to have my be in my feelings. After a while, I said, fuck these people. They ain't paying my bills. They not helping me. They not elevating me. My journey with dealing with people, you get on that elevator, you might take some to the first two levels. That's two and three because you're going to start at, matter of fact, you're going to take them from one to two because you're going to start the elevator from the, the bottom, the basement. And when you turn around and you're probably trying to get to level 10 and you might drop half the motherfuckers off on level six. So that's going to tell you everybody is not supposed to elevate with you. Don't get mad when they ain't sticking by you. And sometimes God closed doors that you can't open. And sometimes when them doors close, we always dip and dab and putting our hands in it, trying to open them. Leave them goddamn keys alone and stop jiggling them and stop trying to fit them in the, the, the lock to open that damn door. He closed it. Let it stay closed. That's the real factor. And sometimes when our kids go through things, we as parents, we don't want them to struggle. Oh, I know what it is. And I've been there. I'm trying to tell you what's right. We know how the shit going in. They got to learn. That was part of our life journey. In the 70s and the 80s and early 90s growing up. Some of us was parents, and we was raising our children, and we was doing what we had to do for them. And overall, we had to learn. When you live in the PJs, I'm from the projects, yes I am. When we lived in the projects, and your ass spent the night out too many nights, you lost your motherfucking room. Privileges. You might still have that bed, but bitch, you ain't coming in here doing what you've been doing. So... That means don't play your radio. You ain't doing no here in my house. And don't go eating up all my shit. Eat where the fuck you was at. And that's how that shit was. And if you stayed out too long, the next person was getting your bed. They came off the bunk bed to get into your bed. So that goes to say to you that when in real life shit start happening, it's about growth. We got to stop meddling in so much growth on others because we know the outcome or we experienced it. They have to experience. That's what it is about life experience. And I say this all the time. Mind your motherfucking business. You'll be happy when you can close your door. You ain't got to deal with the drama, the bullshit. And you got to deal with none of that other stuff that's coming on. So all I can say to people is, let people learn from their own life experience. And it comes and it goes. It seems hard. Some some got it bad. Some some like they can't handle it. Just say, oh, okay. You know, you'll get through it. Just pray for them. That's all I can say is pray for them. Be a good prayer.